This channel is all about bringing you news and awareness surrounding childhood sexual abuse. If it's your first time coming to this channel, welcome. Be sure to check out my other videos. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to this channel so you can be notified of any new uploads. I just stepped in about an hour ago from doing a radio interview up in Neasden in North London with Chalk Hill Community Radio. I was interviewed by a lovely lady called Patricia. We had many discussions on the interview about childhood sexual abuse, my work surrounding it and what I have been doing since I've been doing my books and talks and different things on this subject. We had some really interesting conversations in between the interview and we were talking about sexual abuse and incest in the black community. It is a huge problem, it affects many people. One of the main reasons I feel that sexual abuse is not really talked about in the black community is because a lot of the time a lot of people don't realize that it's sexual abuse and also as well because of the generational mindset that has been passed down in a lot of families where incest has been allowed to happen that has made it appear that it is a normal thing to do unfortunately that is how it is now incest isn't just something that goes on in the black communities we know that it goes on in a lot of communities that are secretive we have the jewish communities the amish communities church communities but i'm specifically talking about childhood sexual abuse and incest in the black community and i can talk about this openly because i came from a family where i was sexually abused by my father and that is something that was completely difficult for me to get my head around not just because I was sexually abused by him but years later upon the realization that actually I was a victim of incest that came out in my early 20s when I came to that realization and it does actually seem really bizarre that I would be somebody who would know that I was sexually abused but I didn't know that it was incest and all I can really say to that is it's about education and about having the information to know something I didn't know that I wasn't able to put the two together you know but on finding that out I was physically sick I felt sick I felt weak I felt spiritually I felt spiritually very down you know I felt like I was a freak like how could this type of thing happen to me I felt ashamed of myself and ashamed of my identity and recently if you've looked on my channel you see that I've uploaded a video that was taken from a Facebook post back in 2016 about a young girl in Trinidad and Tobago where she talks about the sexual abuse that she's gone through by her father and her uncle and now obviously she was pregnant in that video and she talked about her experience and it was just so heartbreaking to hear her story and the reason why I posted it on this channel because I really do feel that people need to know that this is actually a real thing and it does go on incest is common in a lot of black and minority families we're talking about the asian communities we're talking about the black communities for some reason it is seen as okay no one really talks about it when those of us who have tried to talk about it speak out we are vilified we are ostracized from our families and rejected because we haven't gone with the kind of norm of what goes on with these families I have also wrote a blog post on this last November, I will leave a link to it in the description box below, talking about the elephant in the room in the black communities. Do people actually understand and know that black people can be paedophiles? We protect these people within our communities, but then when we see other communities, we all say that, you know, they should be outed. These people who do these things in our communities, whether they're fathers or uncles or whoever it is that is doing these things within our family, don't just stop at one person. The same way they don't stop at one child in another community. But what has happened is, you know, and I know this because of the work I do with Daughter Arise, is that when one is abused they've bravely come forward uh, much to a lot of disgust from their family opposition and when they go forward I know of at least two cases when the police when it, these two survivors went to the police shared their stories the police started investigating they found out that this perpetrator had not only done it to the the, the daughter but had done it to the cousins and other other family members we can't afford to be protecting paedophiles in our community. Yeah, and I said it, there are black paedophiles. I know it's not going to be popular. I know what I'm talking about is not going to be looked upon as something that I should be touching upon, but I feel it's important. And as always on this channel, I always say I'm here for the victims and survivors. That's my priority, why I share the information that I share. And I know a lot of survivors who have been going through this in the black community and they don't get the support or help. 
that they need. And I think it's time that we have an open discussion about it. Incest is so rampant in these communities. You know, if you go to the Caribbean countries, African countries, you'll find that incest is rampant. I have known of women who have got pregnant by their fathers. And I know that is a shocking thing to hear and that's a shocking thing to have to realise and understand. But this is the nature of childhood sexual abuse. I have met women that have gone through that and it is a devastating thing to happen. Just like that girl that I shared on the video in Tobago who's going through that now. And my heart breaks for these women. My heart breaks for that young girl. I wonder about her. I hope that she's okay. You know, and I hope that she can get the support she needs. But it's about raising awareness and it's about education. Even as hard as it was, again, talking about some details of that today, I don't ever regress back. I've come a long way over a 30-year journey. But just sometimes to talk about it, it can be really hard. It's hard, but it's important and somebody has to step up and do it. I'm in a position where God has put me to be a voice for certain people and people are being helped by what I share. There are paedophiles in every single community and we need to be able to understand that and accept that. I think a lot of it comes down to denial, a lot of it comes down to not knowing, a lot of it does also come down to enabling. And we're in 2019 and it's still a taboo subject. I always love going to community radio stations and doing community interviews because it's good to be able to come on and talk to people that may never necessarily have heard of your work because you know a lot of people don't know that Daughter Arise the organisation is out here. I'm in a very privileged position because I know that a lot of people are not going to just come out and talk about it especially because it's childhood sexual abuse. A lot of people don't want to talk about it, they don't want to face it and that's okay everybody has their own decision to make but I am going to continue to talk about sexual abuse in the black community and every other community. I'm a voice for a lot of people. I'm a voice for survivors, I'm a voice for victims. Too many victims and survivors have gone through it, are going through it. There are a lot of black children going through it now and there are children all over the world. As I said, I speak for all victims and survivors. But that's all I wanted to share really. I've been able to move on from my experiences and understand that my identity doesn't come from my dad. My identity comes from through Christ, through God, 